Hey guys, it's Liddy here from Creator Studios, and today we're going to be checking out some of Unico Feel's brand new Rainbow Silk PLA filament. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you know, I have done two other reviews on three other filaments from Unicofill. They've just been sending me some and I'm really glad to be testing out the filament. Thank you again Unicofill for all of this filament. I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm not 100% sure what your filament comes in when you buy it, but uh, this filament just came in a single box, unlike the three filaments I got. They came in their own box, but then they came in a big box with all three of them. So what comes in this box is just the filament and again the silver wrapping. I did open it already. I haven't printed with it, but uh, I just want to see what it looked like. So on the box, my box is just the address and stuff. And then right here, it just tells you 1.75 millimeters and um, the color. And I'm pretty sure the date on here is when it was made, or at least when it was packaged. So when we open the bag, this is what we get. Now this filament is beautiful. It is very, very silky smooth and shiny. Um, it is more of a pastel-like color than the other rainbow filament that I have. It does come with a big Deskin pack. So what's on the packaging is, again, just their information. Um, for printing this filament. Also on the spool is the information again, but it says it is 1.75 millimeter filament. This is in German because this is a German company. It says Silky Rainbow Pastel. So it says an 18M on here. I'm not sure if that means 18 meters of filament. I've never seen that before. It might be on the other spools, but I don't think I noticed that. Also says made in Germany. Their um, link it says nozzle temp is 180 to 200. Now I usually print, you guys know, um, most of my PLAs at 210. So I'll be messing around. I might have to lower the temperature for this and the bed temp is also lower, it's 40 to 50. So the spools again are nice and clear, but once again, they only have one spot to um, put your filament in when you're done using it. I might drill some, I drilled one hole on another spool, but um, I haven't used it. I really just use tape. So this is, so again, this is some super, super smooth filament. I really like the pastel colors they put in here. I'm sure this will turn out really nicely in some big prints. And um, this time I'm gonna be printing a couple big things and some small things, more than four prints. I just feel like I need to get more prints out of this filament because I really want to see how it prints with different shapes and uh, different just styles of prints. So let's check out how it prints and I'll see you guys after.
all the prints I printed. Now, I had some struggle with this filament, and that was mostly because of my printer. But I am also printing one more print, and it is going to be Dragon. But overall, I had a lot of fun printing with this filament, and all these prints came out really good. The overhangs did fine, like normal PLA filament would. Um, you guys will also see some problems I had with the filament because of my printer. So let's go right ahead and check out these prints close up. Alright guys, so the first print, as always, is this beautiful Maker Coin. Now this one is a great coin, in my opinion. As you can see, um, the silkiness of the filament shows up really nicely and it makes the coin really shiny. I did have um, some problems again over here and there wasn't really any gapping except for a tiny bit right here but overall the top layer did great now the bottom layer was amazing and again I am printing on a glass bed with a little bit of glue stick so that makes all these prints stick really nicely the overhang parts um, didn't do very well actually there was a lot of gapping and sagginess of the filament I'm not really sure why but that's how it turned out now these curves over here look great except for a little bit on the bottoms here but overall I really liked how this maker coin printed so what we have next here is a beautiful vase now as you can see as I spin it the glare of the silkiness goes up towards the top this only got about three colors there was more of the orange skin tone color down here than pink and a little bit of purple on top overall I really like how this print turned out the bottom layer was perfect once again. I really like using the new glass bed. And this was printed in vase mode, so um, it was just one consistent flow. Except for I had a little problem here. And I'm pretty sure that was my printer because there was a little bit of filament leaking out the nozzle. So I'm pretty sure that's what that was. These lines are nice and thin. Now, this is kind of flexible, but I did notice it did crack in some spots, and I did test it out with water already, and in a couple spots it dripped, but mostly it was watertight. Now, my only tiny print was this little Marvin. I thought I scaled it up, but not enough, obviously, as you can see. As you can kind of see here, it broke because it wasn't very good. Um, I do not really recommend this print unless you scale it up a lot. That was my plan, but it obviously didn't go high enough. Now, you're probably wondering why this is brown. Apparently, there's a brown color in this roll of filament, and it just happened to be in this print. Next up, what we have here is a pencil holder. Now, this probably doesn't really look like a pencil holder, but it is, you put the pencils through here and through the top, and it sits on your desk like this. This print did have some support material inside and out here also. There was a little bit underneath these little edges, but nothing severe. I honestly don't really think this filament goes good with support material, in my opinion. As you can see, there's a lot of sagginess still where the support material was. I thought this print was really cool and I hope you guys liked it. Next, what we have here is this little fossil fish. Now this is the first fish that I printed successfully. I've printed many of these before, but this one actually moves all over it where it's supposed to. I printed it with a raft, and as you can see kind of here, not all of it came off. That's not a huge problem to me. I'm not really 100% sure if you need a raft, but I printed it with it because that's what the instructions told me. And again, as you can see here, there is some uh, layer gap, and that was again my printer. Um, it could have been some of the filament, but I think this filament works great. Again, I really liked how this fish turned out. So last but not least, I printed a Yoda. Now, I've wanted to print this for a long time now, and I decided it would look really cool with this filament. So let's start off with the bottom first layer. Now, again, this turned out really nice. I had a little bit of gapping here, as you can see, but it is still nice and smooth. These layer lines, as you can see here, again, are probably 
and most likely from my printer. I still need to fix it, and I probably should have fixed it before I did this review, but I needed to get something out for you guys. So there was support material underneath here. It did fine, actually, over here too, and there was some underneath the chin, but again, you can kind of see where it was. The nose and eyes did great, besides, again, all these layer lines, and there was some support material in his mouth. I'm not really sure why. But these ears turned out perfect. The point was very nice on both sides. The back detail turned out really nice too. And overall, I just really liked how this print turned out. And I'm super happy I got to print it. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys liked all these prints. I had a lot of fun printing with this filament. And I hope you liked all the time lapses and how these prints turned out. Thank you again to Unicofil for sending me this filament. I am again really appreciative of their support that they helped me with on my channel by sending me all this filament. Again, I had a lot of fun printing all these. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to this channel. And I hope you guys stick around for more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.